What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Michaela. I hope that you guys are doing amazing today. I have to give a shout out to my girl, Martha, because she gave me this shirt and I just love this shirt so much. Let me try to see if I can show you guys. It's so cute. I don't even know where it's from, um, so I'm gonna have to ask her, but I love this shirt so much. So thank you, Martha, for my shirt. And yeah, guys, like I said in my last video, I'm just excited to be here with you guys. And today I wanted to actually share with you all three books that have really kind of been helping me on my journey lately. Um, they really just have been helping me shift my perspective and helping me to become more in alignment with the person that I want to become and the life that I just truly desire. And so those three books are Change Your Paradigm by Bob Proctor, Becoming Supernatural by Joe Dispenza, and also Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Joe Dispenza. This one's a little dirty, I'm sorry y'all. <laughs> it's, been, it's been read with love. But um, yeah, so I'm actually gonna talk about Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself first. It's been a couple of months since I've read this one, but this was actually, I wanna say the first Joe Dispenza book that I've read knowingly or knowing that it was Joe Dispenza. I probably read some other stuff and just didn't realize it was him, but this one is for sure like the first one where I was like, okay, this is a Joe Dispenza book. And what I really liked about Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself is that it really helps you look at how you've been and the way that you've lived your life as a habit versus that's just who you are. Because I know sometimes, you know, for me, like I've been attached to certain aspects of my identity, you know, for example, being a black woman and being a Scorpio and, you know, attaching my identity to being an artist and just all these different things that I've associated myself with, which are all great things. The things that I've just mentioned are great, but there have been things that I have connected my, or that I've had such a strong attachment to that have not served me. And so once I realized that, you know, I have been a co-creator with the universe, creating different things in my life based on my vibration, based on what I expect and what I believe, I realized that, okay, some of these things are habits and just like any habit, it can be broken over time and with patience and action consistently. And so I really enjoyed that book because it helped me realize that the way that I have always been doesn't have to be the way that I can continue to be moving forward and actually making changes and breaking certain habits will actually help me get closer to the life that I truly desire. The second book I want to talk about um, is another Joe Dispenza book and that is Becoming Supernatural. And actually, I think out of the two, I think I like this one um, a little bit better. But I think this particular book is one of those books where it depends on where you are in your journey because I think if I would have read that book a few years ago it probably would not have resonated with me the way that it does now and I may not have been ready for the information that was in that book because with Becoming Supernatural it does kind of emphasize how meditation really helps you um, with making these changes within your life and a few years ago I struggled with meditation I struggled with sitting for five minutes you know like just meditating was just really difficult for me and I couldn't really understand it but now in this season of my life meditation is something that I love to do is something I look forward to doing every day and so um, I think now because I'm in this place where meditation comes to me a little more easily this book resonates with me a little bit better and I was able to actually start like implementing some of the things that was mentioned in that book and I really enjoy how this book talks it I think it makes you more empowered sorry for like getting all jumbled <laughs> but I think this book helps you become empowered because it lets you realize that you can co-create with the universe and you can do that by really connecting to oneness and the sense of being whole and complete and you know when you are whole you're not lacking anything and when you're not lacking you don't feel this desire to like want things because how can you want more when you are already whole you know there you're not lacking you're not missing anything and so i think when you can tap or at least for me like being able to tap closer and deeper into the the idea of oneness and being whole all the time it has really helped me with i think staying in a higher vibration and not feeling down when i don't currently have certain things in this reality it helps me look at what i do have versus what i don't have yet and so um i really like that book for that reason the third book that i want to talk about is the change your paradigm change your life book 
and this one I really enjoyed as well um first of all it's a quick read it's only like 137 140 something pages very short read um and I think he gets straight to the point like he explains the things that he's saying very like clearly and I also think that this book helps you with being more empowered because again like sometimes we can get into this place where we're reacting to the things that are happening in happening in our life versus coming from a place of responding and a place of you know okay that happened I didn't like that what can I do so that this doesn't happen again I wonder how long that's gonna last I love California okay great that was quick okay so yeah with the change your paradigm change your life book it allows you to get back into the driver's seat of your life and really be empowered to know that you can shift your reality by shifting your belief shifting how you feel about things shifting your vibration you know he mentions in the book that the law of attraction is just one piece of it the law of vibration is really important because your vibration is ultimately what's going to attract certain experiences into your life and so i think that those three books have really just been helping me lately um they've you know given me a sense of empowerment like i've said and they've helped me to shift my perspective and to start shifting the beliefs that i've had because just because you have a belief doesn't mean you have to believe it or it doesn't mean that it's true or that it's true for this season of your life you know what you may have believed a few years ago may have been true then but maybe you're in a season of your life now where certain beliefs just aren't serving you and so these books have really helped me um, just solidify and become more intentional about my thoughts become more intentional about the vibration that i you know am operating at and the energy that i'm putting out so that i can start attracting and creating more experiences that are in, that are in alignment with you know my heart's desires so let me know down in the comments some of your favorite books and it can be anything you know as far as spirituality or personal growth or just books that have just resonated with you and taught you different things about yourself about life and all those good things so i love you guys so much and until next time bye